Hi, in this video I will show how to use application for uh, creating um, VCF files from uh, text files. You can see on my computer uh, right now I have a text file and this text file is um, has a specific format, so uh, columns separated by um, comma. You can see first column, second column, and first row is a column name. So I change. I can change column name here to first name, last name, um, organization, your uh, URL, phone, preferred phone, and email, right? And also, and uh, next all lines are data. Also, in, it's uh, wrapped into double quotes like this, for example, first name and Agnes Kendall. And then oh, it's all separated by comma. So basically this is a CC file, but a comma separated data file, but it's all in a text format. And um, I will create, I will use application and create from this file, I will create VCF files. Uh, I can, I can create one file and include all this information into one VCF file because VCF file can hold multiple contacts in it. And also, or I can, I can create multiple VCF files for every role. So in order to do this, oh, let me go back. So it's file my contacts. Um, in order to do this, I will download app from my website. Uh, to find app, I'll click on search and type text to VCF and click on this page, click on download to start the loading process and then wait until archive will be downloaded to my computer. I'll be recording more videos on VCF files and how to create them from different formats from Excel, Word or text file or XML. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. We are waiting for archive to be downloaded. You can see archive downloaded. I'll click on downloaded archive, double click on MSI inside archive and click on more info here. I'm getting this Windows from Win uh, this uh, window from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. So I'll just click run anyway to start the installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click finish on final screen. And you can see that I have a new application installed on my desktop. Now I can close this. This it's called VCF uh, text to VCF. I'll double click on it to open it. Now, if you like to have this file I was changing as example, you can download it, and you can download and you can enter um, enter your data, right? So you can note and notepad, and you can enter first name, last name, full name and organization, website, phone, mobile phone, and email. And then use this application to convert in, uh, to convert data to, to VCF and now you will have VCF with your data. So, um, but however, I will use this um, test file. So first step, conversion is three steps process. Step one, we will select file, text file we would like to use. They should have a same format. So uh, you can, um, columns can be different, but um, format must be the same uh, for all text files. Uh, it, not, it must be consistent, yeah. So click on open, click on next step. Here I will specify, do I want to have one file or many files? Let's select many files. So it create many VCF file per record. So here, um, per person. So here I uh, will, uh, next thing I will have to map between a VCF uh, column and column into my text file. So I know the first name column is a called first name, last name column is last name, organization is row organization, job title. Uh, um, I don't have title, so I will just leave it empty. Phone. Um, Phone. Mobile is phone one, email is email, and home page is URL. Uh, there is nothing else, so I will just skip it, click on next, and click on run to save files. Now it's asking me for 
uh, location where to save all these files because it it asking me for folder because it will create um vcf multiple vcf files so we go i know in somewhere in documents i have a out folder just specify this one and click ok and you can see it's saying file has been created and let's go and see file i know it's in documents folder name is out let's have a look and you can see it's uh, it has a it has a multiple tests, but you can see for today's test uh, all all files. Let's do this again. Let's delete everything from out, and just click run again. Specify documents and out. Okay, and it's converting again. And you can see it created. Uh, multiple files now i have a vcf viewer installed which is free app it's showing what is inside vcf file and also i can export a vcf file at the different formats but for now i can also open it do a right click open with um, windows contact windows contact is also showing what is inside uh, vcf and you can see there is a first name last name uh, full name and the email from website yep and phone and test organization so all information is here and um, we can what we can do we can delete it again and create one vcf file i want to show you how we select one file click on next click on run it's in asking me for uh, name file uh, let's save it into uh, out as well and when i double click on vcf viewer you can see i have multiple vcf contacts into one file so i will leave a link on this viewer into description under this video as well yeah basically that's it we created vcf file from um, our text file and uh, yeah if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below thank you